All right, keeper it is. And then uh, if all good, everything goes well. Oh, whoops. If everything goes well, we can see what uh, tainted keeper is like. I said said the delirium path is probably the toughest one. Yeah, I think well, I think boss rush is pretty tough. Like reaching it and depending on the character, also just doing it and depending on the build, boss rush can be tough. Uh, Hush is you know a bit of an endurance, but on I remember when Hush used to be like the craziest boss in the boss in the game. Now it's like you know it's still top five craziest bosses, but uh, the 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 scale of the boss insanity has really gone up a lot since Afterbirth first came out. Um, so Hush is not as crazy, but it's still a pretty intense fight with, without a doubt, especially if your your build isn't completely bonkers. Um, yeah, I, I still think Delirium is probably the if at least the most. In, ooh, that's the new options. But I, I highly doubt I'm going to be able to afford it on this floor. Um, second time I think I've gotten that offer that first floor and just can't be able to take it. Um, yeah, the Delirium fight I think is just one of the most inconsistent. Um, even, you know, it's better now, but even still. Um, that being said, the Void floor itself, you know, it gives, like, if you have some sort of health regenerating item... Uh, the Void Floor can really help you fill up your HP bar, and, you know, you get a bunch of free boss items if you know how to search for the Delirium Room correctly. Um, so, the floor itself gives you a lot of opportunities. I, I can't take that. I'm certainly keeping the nickel. Bitch, <laughs> hey, Spinal, good to see ya. Keep it can make quick bucks. Delirium can still very much teleport. Yeah. I So, I did a run, actually, to Delirium just earlier today, just because, I'm you know, I'm trying to... I did... Uh, one to hush through boss rush and hush on Sunday. I think I'm trying to do like a run a day or at least days that I have time to um, And I'm trying to get used to or re-familiarize myself with all the paths and stuff um, I'd run earlier. I, I did as blue baby actually I went I did through the dark room to mega Satan and Then I actually got the void portal to go to delirium. So it was actually pretty in pretty insane as far as like how many completion marks I was able to tick off in one run <clears throat> and it's, it's, with any of the characters that you can, you know, get a decent amount of health with, Delirium's not usually going to be too bad either, but it's, yeah, there's still some times where it's really hard to avoid taking damage. <clears throat> Can't wait for the Void Delirium rework, yeah. I, uh, I agree wholeheartedly, I'm really looking forward to that. <clears throat> no word on it yet, as far as even, like, uh, you know, what exactly it's going to entail, or an ETA or anything, but... That's gonna be really nice when that when we start to hear a bit more about that. All right. Intentionally leaving pennies around in case, um, you know, in case I get damaged in any of these rooms. Um, definitely looking like. Well, if I rob the donation machine, actually, I might be able to get the new options with the penny. I've got like five five cents lying around, I think. Um, two bombs. I don't think it's gonna be guaranteed by any means, but it might work. Or I could try and... Yeah, yeah, or I could try to find the secret room. Um, this, I think, does nothing. Oh, yeah, okay. I, I guess that's something. Um, okay, okay. What are we gonna be at? So I definitely want to at least bomb the shopkeeper and donation machine once, and we'll see where that puts us. I mean, the, there's two places I'd say that the secret room could realistically be. Just based on observing at this level, I'd have to check a couple more of the connections. Okay, it can't be there. So it's, I think it's to the right of the shop here then. <clears throat> what? One shopkeeper giving a nickel and a dime? Holy shit. I actually don't think I've ever seen that before. <coughs> that shopkeeper was stacked, dude. Oh my god. All right. <clears throat> Let's get options. Did you hear about the new secret room? Yeah, the ultra secret room. Yeah, I've heard a little bit. It's uh, <laughs> that's that's really oh, that's pretty good too. Certainly is interesting. I, I did a little reading on them just because I was like, okay, I'm probably not gonna find these anytime soon. Um, I, I mean, there's like five ways to access them in the entire game, so uh, yeah, I'm I'm not gonna be seeing them for a while. 
uh, if ever. But it also seems like the rewards for the doing them are pretty insane as well. <coughs> Which is a way to enter. There's like four other ways to enter them, I think. Um, not not that I could tell you what they are off the top of my head. They're pretty much all new items, so uh, um, I you know I don't really have any familiarity with them. But there are a few other ways. Huh? Why did that chest just vanish? Huh? What the hell was that about? Oh, that was the options. Right. Okay. Okay. I, I just... Okay. I knew, I knew it was something to do with room clues. I just kind of forgot about it. Okay. Okay, so bomb or key. I'll take the bomb. Okay. I remember now. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the only one I remember about is the, uh, the inverted moon card, I think, takes you there. Um, it's one of the, one of the tainted character unlocks, but, um, or it, it has a chain, it, 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 there's some, some way to use that to get in there, at least. I don't remember, I don't know exactly what all the new stuff does. Um, I've mostly been avoiding looking into it, but, uh, um, oh, interesting. So this room, I think, spawned a heart and a key, but because I'm Keeper, the key, the heart immediately turned into a, uh, a fly. So I actually got both there. It's, it's a bit, I mean, it's, you know, a pretty small reward, but it's a little, it's a little something extra. Okay. Not too bad. I don't remember if taking coin damage counts. Um... <sighs> I don't remember if taking coin damage counts against your deals. I'm probably going to be going for angel rooms, just because, uh... Not... Uh, devil deals with keeper is not really something that I, I care to try and gamble with. It doesn't? Okay, sick. That's good. I, I, have, I assumed so, but I couldn't remember exactly. Thank you. That's very useful. Um... Uh... I'll take the bomb. <laughs> Devil deals are actually takeable as keeping them. They're takeable, but I'd have to rely on getting health ups later on to refill the hearts, right? Or to get the containers back. Um, it's like it's doable, but uh, I don't know if it's something I personally want to want to have to worry about. Um, unless I get a boss item that's a health up, I don't think I'll do it. <laughs> better end of the day. Well, that's the interesting thing, is that I recently realized that if you don't go into the devil deal at all, it seems like you actually get higher angel deal chance than otherwise. Um, you know what, the changes to keeper? Um, he's faster. I think he maybe shoots a little faster as well. I, I don't remember all the changes. Um, I, I had him in that page of the, the change logs that I had, was noting down. Uh, and obviously, two to three coin hearts is the biggest thing, which is a pretty, pretty huge deal. Oh, um, in interesting. It's yet another treasure item I don't really, can't really take. Okay. Alright, I will pick it up though. Yeah, yeah, D4, D4, no, nah, not quite. I'm making Isaac image boards. Interesting. What exactly is an image board? I know I've heard the term before, but I, I can't I can't immediately recall. The three coins aren't really the biggest thing. Fortune guide. Oh yeah, okay. <coughs> board of images, right, right, okay, makes sense. There's a collection of images that remind Oh okay, okay, I see. Yeah, I, I don't remember what else besides the the extra health and some extra buffs to stats and uh, slight changes of how I think his double deals work. But um, eh, I think I'm fine. Secret room could be either. This one looks a little better. 
Okay, interesting. I guess it's down here. <clears throat> okay. That actually may keep her invincible in the chest and show. <laughs> really? <laughs> Oddly specific pair of floors, but alright. <laughs> Certainly interesting. <gasps> Excuse me, sorry. Got a little off today. <gasps> Let's see what, let's see what uh, we got. Work. Let's see what we're working with here. Nickel, okay. We're getting some serious cash this run, man. This is still, for me, one of the slightly scarier early game bosses, just because the, the homing projectiles do catch me off guard every once in a while. Thankfully, with triple shot, our damage output is generally high enough that it's not a big problem, but... <gasps> okay. No health up. Speed up, though. Pretty sick. So, see, right now, our double chance is 33.8%. The thing is, I, I was in this situation on a, on a run I did earlier, and I went in the room, and then that percentage got split in half across the two rooms. So I'm actually just not going to go in here at all because my dev my angel room chance is going to remain higher. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Get in the deal. Uh, can't take damage or die at all. Um, I I'm, I'm telling you what's going to happen when I walk in the deal, but alright. See? Okay, so I for okay I did forget that this was how the devil deals were changed. I thought you j okay I did forget about that, but even still, uh, these are also really shitty deals, <laughs> so uh, certainly not taking either. Um, Cambian's good. Um, it's keeper. I mean, I can only afford to take so much damage. I don't know. Um. I don't even know what the paw would do. Guppy? Yeah, I mean, seven cents for a third of Guppy, I guess, is worth it. Obviously, I'm not going to keep it, but... Of course, that does lock me into deals. Well, I, I did forget that this was how it was changed. Though. This is actually pretty good. <sighs> even So, basically, keep you really could go either way with Keeper. If you're somehow not getting a lot of money... Um, I could still feasibly see you going for uh, for angel deals. Excuse me a second. Oops. Okay, and knowing that, I'm certainly going to be stacking up on a little bit of moolah here. Um, okay. That's why he's Keith's favorite. Well. I don't know if this even ever came up when we were playing as Keeper, when he was playing as Keeper. Um, I don't know how that works in co-op, if, like, someone's Keeper and other people aren't. I don't remember ever seeing a, a, a money deal in co-op. <clears throat> Keith's actually, or Keeper's actually quite good now, yeah. Uh, yeah, with that change and some of the changes to Lost, I genuinely am pretty convinced that Jacob and Esau is the worst character in the game. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty positive that's the case. I mean, may, it's maybe somewhat subjective, but um, there's no doubt in my mind that Jacob and Esau is the character I want to play the least in this game. I literally would rather play as Lost or or uh, Keeper in the current state of the game. <clears throat> I don't know how they would ever ch change or alter. It's the same thing. I don't know how they'd ever modify Jacob and Esau to make them better. You know, just their core gimmick is a pr is problematic. Um. <clears throat> Ragman's minions die when he does now. Oh, interesting. You have a reason to run now. Okay, well that's good to know. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, I thought about remote detonator, but really, if I'm doing devil deals, I want to make sure that I have a good amount of money on hand at all times. So I figure I'll just save it. <clears throat> I don't. I don't care enough about, you know, getting uh, a few extra bombs. Shit, okay. 
<clears throat> um, certainly we'll take bombs here, though. <clears throat> I ended up talking to one of the devs about Jacob Nisa, and they said, he said they only need minor buffs. Well, it, it, at least they agree that they need buffs. <clears throat> But again, you know, I don't know, besides just, like, buffing their individual stats or something, I, I don't know how they could rework the character, because that's the whole gimmick. Um, but really what... Oh. Um, yeah, I mean, this is most likely gonna pay off. Um, not a fan of this room very much. Um... I'm gonna get completely fucked if I didn't use that. <laughs> Let me get the bomb at least anyway, so I guess that's uh, fine. That's a bit of a rough room for me. Um, I think I got Jacob and Esau. I don't think they need much health either. I, I, I mean, I haven't... That's the thing. Like, I, I've played as them a decent bit so far. I just... I really cannot get a feel for how to actually play as them without it being completely miserable. Like, Jacob really big and Esau really small and Jacob... Saw. Yeah, give him, give him like an item like uh, the one that lets you pick up and like mom's bracelet lets you pick up and throw rocks, except it lets you pick up and throw your uh, uh, the other fella. Are they hard to wrap your head? It's just, especially some rooms, it just seems like it's basically impossible to avoid taking damage when you have twice the twice the hitboxes to deal with. <clears throat> And, you know, you have to split your health two ways, and all the... I mean, item splitting is not the worst, but but health splitting is, uh... uh usually by the time I even... I, I just am not able to save up that much health at all. God, these Keeper heads have so much health. Even back in the original game, I always hated this enemy, to be honest. What, what do I have that's making me drop coins when I take damage, also? Is that just something that... That lost or that keeper does now. Would you guys shut up? There we go. <laughs> mm -mm. Killed by your own kind. I know. Gonna send you the exact message in Discord DMs. All right, sounds good. Oh, okay, that was close. I need some tier rate pretty badly here, man. Oh, that's right. That okay. I, f I forgot. That's what that's what hit me. Okay. It just happens to be very beneficial when you're when you're actually playing as keeper. Um, so it's a D twenty effect, just for this room too. I think. Um, yeah, that's probably gonna be pretty good. Yep. Okay. Immediately worth it. Sick. Very very nice. Um, I'll leave one. Oh, I want that. Oh. Uh, hmm. I might have to take the two hits to get that. I Well, I do have one coin on the floor. Yeah, I think I gotta get that. I got plenty of keys. I actually only need to take one hit, too. I guess the iframes lasted long enough, so that's nice. <clears throat> yeah, I have plenty of keys. I, I don't care about having to actually use keys for the shops. That's not... Clearly not going to be an issue. I already have 10 keys and I've got a gold one for this floor, so we're all set. Okay. Um. Yeah, alright, I'll just take the money. Ah. Uh, what, what is that? Oh, is that the skipping stone? I don't remember exactly what this does. Oh, that was the wrong one. Oops. Oh. Well, that's a cute item. <clears throat> okay. I like it. Damn, I'm too late. Hey, Val, how's it going? Too late for what? Did you want to uh, suggest Jacob and Esau again as the as the character or something? <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm gonna take the compass. <clears throat> okay. Uh, all right. About the bloody man. You want me to do Maggie next? Alright, you got it. Compass, blood, come as it is! 
Oh, the Bloody Mary Challenge, I really like that one, although Bumbo managed to kill me in shoal in the dumbest way. Interesting. Um, oh, do these go over rocks sometimes? No, maybe not. Well, actually, on the, the first the first shot, it seems like they do sometimes. No, okay. I guess it's just a coincidence. I wasn't sure if it's a funny tier height thing or what, but no, it just uh, it doesn't seem to do anything like that. Spawned a mimic chest on top of you. Those mimic chests, man, they're uh, they're a real bitch sometimes. Room two, no less. Jeez. All right. Unfortunate, man. Okay. <laughs> Another massive amount of money. <clears throat> Did this guy get a resprite? Also, I don't know. He looks a little different to me. A little more detailed, maybe. Especially when he does that. He's got like the nice shading on his face. I don't know. I feel like I don't remember that. He's got a laser, I think, when you're directly below him, but. Praying for some kind of tear up here, either from the boss item or a potential devil deal if I get it. <clears throat> okay. And, well, this is the tear up at least I wanted, so, okay. Fair enough. Not a big one, of course, but, you know, uh, I'll take what I can get here. <clears throat> um. Okay. Too many places the secret room could be, honestly. I'm not sure I'll bother. Well, I'll take a quick peek. Unlocking Tainted Maggie should be easy, and yet I think she's more interesting than Tainted Isaac or Keeper. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I, I can't imagine doing a base, very basic run as Maggie is going to be too tough, so. Okay, could be there. Could be here. Can't be up here. Could be down here. Nope. Hopefully here then. Right, then it's here. Okay. Oh. Huh. Certainly take that. <clears throat> Careful. I always have more problems coming out of the uh, the spike pit than going in. Okay. I could have done that, that I could have bombed that, that greed, the shopkeeper as well, but oh well. I don't have enough bombs that I'm going to go for it now. I'm loving the new costumes for Keeper here. Yeah, it's looking, uh, yeah, he's got like the, the coin eyes popped out of his head. That's pretty cool. Maybe you look a little different to him. I should. I, I, Keeper does look a little different now as well. That also is true. <laughs> They made Maggie good and somewhat interesting for the the for a tainted Maggie. <clears throat> okay. Oh jeez. Okay, we're gonna be here. Another nickel. Tainted keeper has been for both. Really, I didn't think they changed regular Maggie that much besides her pill is now a full health instead of a speed up. Uh, quad shot instead of tri shot, 2 HP, every enemy drops coins, but all coins disappear after 2 seconds. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, the, the two hearts, I mean, two, two hearts is, you know, what he's been, what Keeper used to deal with just all the time. Uh, Coins disappearing, so you can't really leave health lying around for yourself, though. So def definitely going to be a harder version of Keeper. Maybe significantly so, but... Over lets you fuck around with sacrifice rooms. Oh, that is true. Guess I hadn't thought about that. I, I just I, honestly, it seemed like a 
like a nerf it, a nerf to me just cuz like uh, I always thought that her speed was one of the one of the bigger problems so her being able to mitigate some of that right off right out of the gate was uh, was a nice thing um, but yeah I guess she definitely gets a lot of value out of a full health pill so that's that's true I, I still don't really do that much with sacrifice rooms mostly just cuz I I don't remember what you get at what like sacrifice intervals like I know you get some really good stuff in there now but I I just don't do it cuz I I don't typically have a lot of red heart containers and I don't I don't have the stuff memorized so I usually just just don't whoops bother <clears throat> every enemy drops coins that's true but for some boss fights that wouldn't won't necessarily matter uh, nine item shops <laughs> well that's nice shops are buffed, buffed yeah in practice, I really like the full health. Interesting. Yeah, I, you know, without having played her and played her in, in this version yet, I, I, I assumed that this, the with lack of speed up uh, was a detriment, but uh, this do bring up some interesting points. So perhaps, uh, perhaps it's not, it's not so bad, huh? Okay. Being as uh, being a tank as Maggie didn't seem like much of a thing until now. That's always the point of the character, yeah. But I guess the I, the particularly nice thing about that change is that... Um, wow, so much money. Um, you know, obviously, since you get a full health pill, that pill is going to be in rotation. But I think a health up pill is also always in her pill rotation. Stupid shops. Okay. Um, I guess I should bomb this guy for... Uh, Double deal chance. Um, so I almost feel like taking pills as Maggie is uh, slightly better than taking pills as most of the other characters. Because um, you're guaranteed multiple very good, very beneficial effects for her. Um, which maybe is intentional, considering that you know Maggie is obviously uh, Isaac dressed like his mother and his mother uh, clearly has a pill problem <laughs> uh, so that's pro probably intentional theming but uh... huh seventh sacrifice and give angel reminds okay so that, that's already a pretty nice thing to work towards then okay you can also fix the speed problem with blood bag yeah that's also true um what, what, what does this do Oh. It upgrades to quad. Not sure that was worth another massive hit to my tier rate. Um, hello? Oh, it's needles. Okay. That's interesting, though. Has... Has... Uh, has Inner Eye always done this for Keeper? Tenth gives seven soul hearts? Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you can get to that point, it, it basically pays for itself. Okay, I, I really need to sit down and actually memorize the the, the sacrifice chart because uh, it really seems like a mechanic I am I um, I I basically never take advantage of. It did. Okay. Oh, oh, please. Oh, that's nice. Okay. <gasps> this puts our tier rate back up to where it was before we took that. All right. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, let's just go for it. I, obviously, I mean, 62 coins, I clearly... I don't really think I'm going to be in need of money much for the rest of the run. Depending on what deals we get, of course, but... <laughs> yeah, liter literally doubling our tier rate with that pickup, so... That's about as, as sick of a room drop as I could have possibly gotten. Oh, shit. Um, okay. I've never cared much for this boss. Okay. Damage up. Perfect. <gasps> it's him lower. But I, I, th I, this, this boss is very hit or miss for me a lot. Of, okay, for more. It's just exceptionally shitty items. Um. Wow. I mean, I guess I'll take betrayal just because I have enough money. Um, it's decent. 
Oh, these these are just really bad. This has been a really bad, uh, really bad deals this run. Okay. Let me scoop this up. Well, maybe I should I should keep the other one and, and then just wait to pick up the pennies until the end. Yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna clear here. Might as well. Obviously, not doing any of the time challenges because why would I? I'm saving all that shit for the new characters. possible bookworm. That's true. Um, 15 coins for an, an item I'm not going to take with me, though. I have a decent amount of money. I probably could have afforded to, but... <clears throat> um, at this stage of the run, I feel like bookworm is probably going to come by a library, and a library is just instant bookworm either way, so... Um, but yeah, I, I, can, I can see that. Thumbs up for money with Keeper. Yep, that's another new change uh, that I had honestly forgotten about in in Repentance. Okay. <clears throat> Ever encountered a Rainbow Champion? Sure haven't. I did hear they added a couple. Okay, not the room that was here before. I I'm just gonna pick up these pennies now and not worry about trying to double them with the, with the whatever, because they're, they're just gonna keep moving around. Right. <clears throat> Makes it way more. Yeah. Before devil deals were real. I mean, before he also only had two coin hearts, so they were really sketchy with him. Um, but now they're, that it's it's infinitely better. <clears throat> pretty wild interesting time to sacrifice i could i mean i could have a couple times but i <clears throat> if i had more money lying around on the floor then maybe but even that for a run like this i'm not sure if it's something i uh i'll feel the need to bother with too much unless i unless i really have a lot of money a lot of individual coins lying around lots of bunch of other champion effects with a bunch of potential drops. Interesting. Certainly certainly what I would have expected from a rainbow champion. Ooh. Okay. Uh yeah, we're going we're going to the beast to try for tainted unlock. Um I mean doing that shouldn't be much of a problem, you know, unless we really get annihilated in in a single room. Um with this limited health pool and all, but you know, I, I'm, I'm not necessarily assuming that we're just going to be able to go in and take down the beast immediately, but obviously that's that's the route we're going for, so we'll see how it goes. Okay. Oh, okay. They flew in weird directions because they're charmed. They flew towards each other instead of towards me, which really threw me off. Mm. I'm still going to take the card. Okay. Um, okay. Uh oh. Please, thanks. Ace of Clubs. Um, hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably go for that. Oh, no. There's a bomb in there, so the key I'm not worried about spending in the bomb I get back, so take it. Meh. Hello, delicious. Ace is one room clear, if anything. Oh, yeah, they did change these ace cards, didn't they? Um. <laughs> I forgot those ace cards are actually pretty good now. Before, it was just like Four item, four cards collectively uh, that were just completely awful. But now they're pretty good. Love the new Ace card. Yeah, I totally forgot about that actually. That's broken. Yeah, that's uh, that's quite quite the Ace card change. 
Thank you, thank you, Nick, for the hydrate. Give me a second. All right. <laughs> Good to see you, man. All right. Um. As long as I stay in the corners here, we're fine. Certainly still in desperate need of tier right, but you can turn rent rag mega's balls into items with that with them too. That <laughs> that's certainly nice. The boss is such a pain in the ass sometimes. Um I think I'll do this room. Well, I think I'll do this room when I can put a penny down first, just just to be safe. <laughs> really funny sense now they said it out loud, yeah. <laughs> Literally turn his balls into items. Kinda fucked up when you think about it, but you know. He had it coming. Yeah. Isaac team, let's fuck everyone over. Also, Isaac team, let's make ace cards broken. Yeah, literally, literally free room clear and just a bunch of shit ton of items. So nice. Okay. Uh, how about a penny now? Depths two already. Well, depths XL. So technically, yeah. Um. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I guess I gotta be looking out for the, uh, the fool's skull. Oh. Shot speed, extra card. Ooh. Okay. Okay, they do. I was, I was about to say, I don't know what these guys do besides leave the creek piles, but they do, uh, they do still do the leap. The leaps. Okay. Honestly, with this many keys, I'm just gonna take the key. Real XL hours. Blank card ace, true. That's, that's true. Instant room clear every four rooms. Pretty sick. Dude, I have not seen... Uh, yeah, I guess. I have not seen uh, the blank card a single time since Repentance has come out. I mean, not that it was, you know, a particularly common item before, but... Man, really have not been seeing it around. Better leave behind a trinket in a treasure room or boss room, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I should have done that with the with the shop key. I totally... I'm still not fully, fully used to this whole routine. Um, <laughs> I really don't want to have to leave leave cancer trinket behind, so um, I'm gonna really be trying to keep keep an eye out for an, any other trinket I could I could leave instead of this one. Um, I mean, if if I need to, I'll go to mausoleum and and search that floor too for a trinket, because um, I'm pretty sure that still works. Do we have bad trinket on? Not on this floor, not yet at least, but it's... Based on this layout, it's probably like half cleared, so I'm sure we got time to find one. Yeah, leaving leaving cancer behind is a very bad idea here. Uh, this, the run's gonna go south quick if I actually have to leave this thing behind. Spawn in, gulp, pill, easy, clap. <laughs> God. Um. Yeah, okay. It's old. Too bad here. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, I guess I should have spawned that in the next room. Let me try and get a, a charge here, just just to be playing a bit safe. Meh. Uh, I think there's a good reason to use the crack key in home. Even if you don't have a character. Yeah, it spawns a shopkeeper, and I think it'll... Instead of a, a tame character, it'll have, like, a shopkeeper there, or sometimes, I think, even a pedestal item, so... Um, yeah, it's actually still not completely worthless. Um, that just does nothing, right? I don't think that, that'll that ever do anything for Keeper. I forgot what it was if I did that once. Yeah. Thank you very much, Glacium, for the host. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> The smelters in the shop, you're golden. Oh, to smelt, yeah, to smelt the the cancer at least, yeah. 
Um, although, I mean, that that's that wouldn't really help me with my, um... Uh... Leaving a trinket for the cracked keys situation, but, yeah. Certainly would be nice. Alright, ad break. Bing! <clears throat> Well, that's it to say before. Okay. Well, I got a pop-up, but also the ad's playing anyway, apparently. So, money time. Thank you, Glacium. In it nice and small. Yeah, that's really nice. I, uh, some of the, like, by all means, that's a really small change. But I, I just really appreciate stuff like that. I don't know. Just n really nice little, uh, little bits. Oh, jeez. Of, uh, polish. Look for card. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Gotta find the card. <clears throat> 300 more points and I'll do it again. You really do spend every si Oh shit. Oh my god, a dime. You really do spend every single channel point you earn on ad redeems, huh? They're, they're, oh my god. I've literally never seen them do that before. What? I actually did not know that that attack even existed. Okay. That's different. Yeah, you're a true model for the community, Glacium. Gotta earn you that money. <laughs> Too kind. Literally paying your hard hard earned channel points to give me money. Too kind. Yeah, I've literally never seen them do that like tendril attack before. That was very unusual. Okay. Oh. Um I mean, this is just a passive, right? Yeah. PhD? Mm, yeah, okay. I got plenty of money, so. That's the new... Is, is, it actu is it actually new for for Repentance? Oh, gulp. What was the last thing I ate? I can't give... Yeah, right, yeah. I know a lot of people can't really, uh... Can't really get ads where they're at. 135k? Oh my god. Interesting. Okay, so that's why I would never have seen it before, because uh, it hasn't existed until now. Oh, Gulp is the one that eats the trinket. Oh. I don't know if I want to do that. That's the problem. Relax, I guess. I'll just use it. Um. I mean, obviously, I want to keep. I want to keep this. But if push comes to shove and this is the only trinket I get for the rest of the run, then I'm gonna have to leave it. Uh, what? Oh, because that was the... Okay. <laughs> I'm not used to using this item. You have to leave cancer behind. Yeah. It would be, but at the same time, if I have to do it, then, you know, I'll... Wow, well, sick chest. If I absolutely have to do it, then I'll do it. Um, but... I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna clear every single room and see if there's any way that I could possibly uh, not get rid of this trinket. Just think, come on, got my 300 points. Let me know you can, when you can run another ad. Uh, yeah, I would, maybe in like 10-ish minutes, probably. Um, I, I'm not really sure how, like, the, the ad cooldown even works, but, you know, pretty much all just a guessing game. This is pretty bad. Okay, that'll help <laughs> quite a lot, actually. Alright. Alright, Betrayal has turned out to be a pretty decent pickup so far. Um, okay. This, I mean, I know it's an XL, but even for an XL standards, this looks like a pretty massive floor. There's so many places Secret Room could be. I'm gonna check a few, but... It's gonna be a Herculean task to try and s check every single Secret Room potential location. Okay, we got a card in there. Go for it. You mind. Oh, well, there's our Fool card, so I don't have to... I guess I don't have to bother trying to find the uh, the special skull then. Works for me. I wonder what I wonder how fool card works when you're 
As going through the ascending floors. Um, like, does it actually take you just to the starting room and then you could just leave that floor immediately? <laughs> That'd be pretty nice if it did. I, don't, I hadn't actually thought about that until now. I mean, that would certainly make sense. That the secret room has mushrooms bond them. Right, yeah, because we can get the, uh, the Liberty Cap. Get out of here. Woo. One humble spider. Okay. <clears throat> That's exactly how food works in a scent. Per perfect. Alright. Good to know. Um, I really don't need more keys. I got three ones. That's nice. <clears throat> Skip as much of that nonsense as you possibly can. Okay. Alright, almost out of rooms here. Attack fly? Sure. Oh. Ghost pepper again? I'm a big fan of this item, personally. How does that work with the skipping stones? Oh, it just doesn't. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> it's just the same. Um... I mean, I guess I could do one boss, right? I don't think I've been doing the bosses perfectly, so I don't... I'm probably not going to get the, uh... The... the okay, well, I certainly just fucked this one up, even if I did, so... De definitely not getting that trinket now, so... Uh, but I don't think I was going to, anyway. I think I took... I think you have to do, like, three bosses in a row without taking damage, and I, I got hit on Rag Mega, but I think it was only, like, two floors ago. Um, so that wasn't gonna happen. Uh-oh. Okay. I don't know if we could get, like, box or, or something here, so... Well, that's certainly good. Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, I might have to try and search for a secret room, honestly. Cause yeah, and the rebring up the point with the mushrooms is a pretty good, pretty good reason to look for them. And I don't think Liberty Cap is particularly rare as a drop uh, for mushrooms. Um, God, there's just so many places it could be. It's obviously not going to be up there. Can't be down there, actually. That was a pretty good pretty good looking spot before. There was the X-Skull, by the way. Okay. No mushrooms. <laughs> I'm so tired that I forgot my usual question routine. Plans for Sunday? Don't think so. As far as I'm aware. Um, okay. Don't think I'm gonna go risk going in there then. I've done this. Yeah. Okay. Um. Hmm. This is getting a bit rough. So here's the thing. Worst case, I can. What's in here? Oh. I think I actually have to go for this. Okay. Not super worth it, so I'm not gonna bother going back in there for that. Um. It's four out of four. What is, sorry? Oh, for, are you asking for like uh, availability for your, uh, are you doing your birthday stream thing on Sunday then? Or is this for something else? I think I mentioned Minecraft birthday stream event before. Yeah, I thought before I had heard it was going to be on um, Friday. Is that, is it, oh, are you thinking Sunday now? Ooh, lucky Penny, we'll take that. Um, okay, so I'm going to do mo the mom fight. I'm going to fool out and then I'll have to make a decision from there. Huh, 
verb. Okay. I'm not going to be able to drop a penny in the boss room either, so I'm actually going to have to be pretty careful. My, my damage output, I think, is quite good, but, you know, I can still get fucked over pretty easily in this boss fight. Uh, Alright. Got the full card, we're good. She is so quick on the uptake with that. Okay. Oh shit. Um. Okay. Um still no deal, that's unfortunate. I mean that was that was our last chance to get one, I think, so. Um doesn't matter which one I take. Initially, I wanted it on actual birthday on Friday, right? Okay. Pretty rough. Um. I mean, I think either way, you know. I don't think gulping the trinket is going to be necessary. Like, even if I uh, if I do find another trinket in the next floor, then uh, what was I looking for? I was looking for my card. That's over there, I think. Um, I doubt I'm going to find another trinket worth keeping between now and, and the escape anyway, so um, I think I need to play it safe. Take Empress with me, because that's going to help my damage against the beast. Um, and then I think we just, we're just we just going to peace out, and I, I, we might have to full clear Mausoleum, which I'm not looking forward to at all, but, um, actually, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to go back and bomb Dono Machine to make sure that I can actually, I'm, I'm topped off on health, because, uh, especially with this low fire rate, I feel like Mausoleum can really kick my ass. So it's unavailable Friday because of stocks, I want to play something with my friends, but... They can't speak English. <laughs> I leave and cancel. No, not not. Well, well, I I mean I could leave something on mausoleum, right? I could, like I could leave it in the mausoleum treasure room, if I needed to, right? So I can I can I can wait one more floor. I thought. A couple more things that made me reconsider the day. Okay. Then why don't you go? Well, because I can't guarantee I'm gonna find a, a a trinket on the next floor. If I gulp it and I don't find a trinket, then the 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 whole path is, or the the whole the whole thing is a waste of time basically take gulp just in case i so for gulp to be useful i would need to find two trinkets on the next floor and one of them would have to actually be really good whereas empress is just going to guarantee give me more damage against the boss i i don't know gulp doesn't seem worth taking compared to empress to me i'd need to find two good trinkets on the next floor for for taking gulp to be worth it I'm starting to get bored on the iBuy power of Minecraft server. They're taking too long to make the cool combat event. Gulp is good. Yeah, I mean, it just gives me the trinket permanently, right? I, like, at this stage of the run, I don't know. I mean, I'm only clearing as much mausoleum as I have to. So, as soon as I get a one trinket, I'm dropping it in the treasure room and I'm leaving. As soon as I can. Uh, you know, if I get if I get some crazy trinket on the next floor and another one... Not too, yeah, but even even still. The Empress I know is going to pay off. And I mean, I think it's going to pay off pretty well for the beast fight. Which, I mean, this is all assuming that, you know, I, I even could beat the beast fight. So, um, Alright, so it looks like we get quick access to a treasure room. It's a nice little room. Okay. Charged key. Another nickel. Instantly find twisted horn. I, like I said, I, I'm not denying that it could happen. I just, I like my odds better by taking the Empress Guard. Um, okay. Ooh. <laughs> That's a nice little friend to get. Okay. Nice little Vs walking around. 
You would think that getting two drops per room would mean that I would be getting a decent amount of trinkets, but I literally have just found the one I think I'll run. And then, of course, there's the one I started with. Um, which I, I should have used that one, but... Oh. Um, well, Little Gishy's not that good, right? I think I take the mystery pick here. I don't like that this beast keeps trying to shoot me. It doesn't do anything, but it just makes me unhappy. That's, this is just like a little slowing familiar, right? Or is this the other one? Or is this the, the other Gish, which makes your shots slow? I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna get Platinum God open. <laughs> um, Gish. I think this is the familiar. Yeah, it's a familiar. Um, that's not really that good. I really enjoy this block and switch puzzle rooms. I'm not sure if I said the last stream I've ever found. That's fine. No, yeah, I, I like those rooms a lot, honestly. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. It's gonna be that kind of run, isn't it? I did. Yeah, I've gotten exactly one additional trinket this run, and then there was the one I started with. But what? Oh, okay. Didn't know they were in here. Um, alright, I'm gonna clear the way to the boss first. <laughs> it's also Shiny Penny. Oh yeah, okay. There was that one too. Um. Interesting. Huh. That's a cool room. Ah, there's one. Okay, cool. Oh. Right. <laughs> Oops. Forgot how that works. Alright. We'll get it eventually. My favorite room in, Mo in Monolith is a puzzle room. Following portals you can use to make the enemies kill each other. Interesting. <clears throat> I'm still not really used to how the new options work. Oh, mini portal. It's kind of weird that they gave the, the new like mini portals really cool... Some, like effects and then the old portals are just the same. <laughs> they just look the same as ever. Second fail. Yeah, yeah, alright. Not too worried about it. Uh, if I have to leave cancer, I will, but you know. I, I'm not considering my odds against uh, the beast very good either way, so <laughs> it's not not really a huge concern to me. Be bombing all the rocks for rock trinkets. Okay. I did forget about those. Oh, oh, this enemy blows. I did set him on fire even through the shield. That's interesting. <clears throat> Seem like you're awfully awful this game. All right, just take it easy, buddy, all right? Let's all just remain calm here. Oh, okay. This stupid feast is really scaring me. <clears throat> keep thinking he's gonna hurt me. Okay, so I can't, if I go in there, it's gonna lock behind me, so. Old portals got banished to Brazil. They did! I just, it's just weird that they didn't update the, the, the special effects for the for the old ones. Oh, okay, my V's just got fucking stomped. <clears throat> yeah, well, if it, if it does come to that, I'll start, I'll start bombing rocks, too. Woo! What, what trinkets can you get from the rocks? You can get the, the shine. Okay, there's one. Alright, we're good. Um, Alright, I'm just gonna go drop this. See, easy game, guys. Easy game. Nothing to worry. Nothing to worry little heads about. <clears throat> Pretty OP. Yeah, he is really good. I think that's the second one I've gotten. But uh, they, they do like to just get completely fucking annihilated as soon as possible. Maybe they'll update the portals once the rework comes. That is true. That's That's... And that certainly could be something that they're, uh, that they're holding off for. Alright, I'm just gonna get out of here now. Uh, here. Should've took gulp? Uh, what, what, is, what does the bloody crown even do? Is that is that a good one? Uh, something with, with red hearts or something, I thought. Yeah, I, I mean, I still didn't even... I didn't- I still didn't find any trinkets that were actually worth keeping. 
none, none of them were actually good. Um, I mean, I guess I might as well buy this, but it's not really going to help me at all. Oh. Huh. That made a cool sound. Spider baby. I kind of forgot about... I, actually, I'm not sure I was ever aware that transformation was even in the game. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. This is Quinn following me now. Um. Now it's not. Oh, I must have gotten some funny three do three dollar bill effect. Okay. Red <clears throat> car makes item respawn in the womb. Okay, after this DLC, how far it goes. Yeah. Yeah, there's a treasure room. Perfect. Optimal. Oh, well, there's another one. That one actually. Ah, that actually was a decent one. I'll be honest. Um. Oh, you know, I forgot I couldn't even... Okay. okay I forgot I can't even take Epic's card with me. Alright, oh well. I forgot we can, we literally have to take the crack key with us. Didn't, have, didn't end up getting any uh, additional item storage. Oh, wow. Sick choice of items there. <clears throat> let's play after my... Alright, I wouldn't go that far. Alright, let, let's just settle down, Cyber. Take it easy. Oh, this floor still has two. Oh, I didn't even think. Yeah, we're actually you have to go back through an XL floor. Oh, well, that's well. I guess that's not that helpful actually because I can't take soul hearts. Um, yeah, never mind. I don't actually care. I did Isaac. Yeah, I tried to do the Isaac's Awakening. I made it pretty far actually. I made it to like corpse, I think. But uh, I. Uh, I think I took some item I probably shouldn't have, and then I kept crashing against... This is before they fixed the rot gut crash, um, when, when you revive in his second form, so I, I, I was just getting tired of having to relaunch the whole game, so I just stopped. Uh, baby Bender would have done literally nothing. Okay. Um, found out you can play tennis with that one attack Mother has. Oh, the, oh with the one where she, like, throws the... Uh, Fistula? Interesting. The motherfucker, because ha, ha damage reduction. Yeah. Oh, well, that's just rude. Yeah, pretty classic stuff, huh, guys? The old damn. Okay, I don't like this modifier very much. <laughs> Do you mind? There we go. Um, just gonna leave that coin there for now. Oh, that's actually nice. Is this gonna? No. Okay, I can do this then. Is this something useful I can actually spend this money on? Well, maybe useful. Doing the game of tennis, it smacks you in the face for a bunch of damage and stuns. Oh, interesting. That's pretty cool. Yeah, okay. Not not really helping me. Those kind of nuances in my jam, I know, right? You love to see details. There's so many details like that in, uh, in Repentance, I feel like. They, uh, everything just feels very well well thought out and very very fleshed out I guess um, just checking alright I'm just gonna take this penny I guess sick um and become saved let his light inside you cleanse your you. soul Wow, that was quite the explosion. Ooh. Charge penny. Lock up. Here we go. That's nice. If you lose to beast, it's solely because you didn't go. Well, not quite. I I, I expect my chances of actually winning. I, I mean, prob realistically, I'm probably gonna lose to dogma actually, uh, because I just I'm just not familiar enough with the boss, and I just don't have enough hits to be able to take it. Uh oh. Okay. I don't recall exactly what this. Oh right. Okay, that's fine. D Dickma. I I very well might lose the Dickma. Okay. Uh oh. What do you do? Oh, it's yeah, more splitting projectiles. That already? All right. It's 
still here. <laughs> I can't use that. There's no way. There's no way that's a reasonable choice. See, look, guys, I got gulp anyway, see? What's the problem? <laughs> see? Told you guys, it's all gonna work out just fine. Only chance of redemption. Oh, I don't know. Oh. I don't know, man. My build is pretty decent right now. Shoots in eight directions. Okay. Pretty sick basement room here. Completely unmodified classic basement. Um, I can't D4. It's so easy to to completely screw myself with D4. Three dollar. I've had no problems with three dollar bill so far. All right. I've. I mean, what what's bad about three dollar bill? You can get fire mind. Um. I feel like most of the other effects are strictly beneficial. So easy to get a free win with D4. Maybe. Uh, I do have Trinket Room now, so I'll actually... Whoops. Whoops. Didn't mean to just dive straight in, but that's fine. like this enemy very much. Okay. Gold bomb. Uh, sure. So fire mine doesn't mess you up during stalactite phase. I mean, that's the only that's the only problematic thing that even could happen, really, with uh, the three dollar bill. I still feel like three dollar bill is generally a pretty decent item, but besides the besides fire mind. <laughs> Most of the other effects are at least situationally pretty good. Build is it is it certainly isn't the best build ever. I, I I'm I'm gonna run a poll. Just give me a minute. <laughs> Although I'm pretty confident what the results of the poll are gonna be because I mean it's Twitch chat, so let's be realistic. Um, but you know I'll do it anyway. reality. We should only not... Yeah, the, the self-damage from the explosions really is a big problem, and I'm really kind of astonished that that hasn't been changed, because it really does ruin what I consider to be a pretty cool item. Um, it just completely kills it. Like, <laughs> there's very few times you actually want to take Fire Mind, or, you know, if you do take it, you take it under the pretense that it's probably going to make your build worse. All right. You can do polls on slash poll. I thought there's a button for it. There we go. Don't listen to the Overwatch player, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. All right, I'm gonna do a one. I'll do a two minute, two minute D4 poll. Again, knowing 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 Twitch, it's pretty Twitch chat. It's pretty easy to guess what the result's gonna be, but you know, <laughs> I'll I'll will see what the consensus is at least. Um, at the very least, I'll you know I can D four and then I'll be able to pick up the nickel again. Although I guess the ni the nickel might help me in dogma, but it's not gonna help me against the beast. Even if I could get a nickel, I think it would actually just fall down in the, the, the pit, and then I just wouldn't be able to pick it up anyway. <laughs> Not very useful. Um, can you get secret rooms in these floors? Yeah, I think you. So these rooms are all have the doorway, but this one doesn't, so I think that means that the secret room's here, right? Oh, no, that's one that's adjacent to the boss room. Right, okay. But I think that logic still does apply. For trying to find secret rooms, I think. 
but uh, I'm not seeing any here anyway, so at least I'm not a racist. Well, <laughs> all right. Yeah, I mean, maybe that doesn't work, or maybe secret rooms just don't generate on these floors. I actually don't know. Um, which logic? So I read somewhere that you can use like the red key or the cracked key to be able to find where the secret rooms are um, by looking for where you can't generate doorways. Um. But I, I haven't found, you know, if that is the case, I can't find, uh, it doesn't appear to be, appear to be working on this floor, at least. It's not true, okay. Well, I, I read it in the wiki, so I, that, that, that was where I'd seen it, but maybe that was, uh, before they knew what was going on. <laughs> Alright, D4 pole almost up here. It's a split 50-50. <laughs> Good work, guys. Excellent work. Alright. Um, I was going to flip a literal coin, but I don't have any lying around, so... You should do a recount, but ban everyone who voted no first. Oh, really? Alright, now I'm going to do a uh, coin flipper. Wait, wait, it's flipping. Hold on. Okay, that one doesn't count. Tails is D4, heads is also D4. Well, not quite. You, you got the right idea. Alright, heads D4, tails no D4. Looking like no D4. On the side, it's rolled twice. Literally have coin flip in game. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, I mean, I guess I could use the nickel, but I'd rather save that for the next floor. Alright. No d4. <laughs> the coin flip is spoken. Uh, Alright. You, ha you, you, you had your chance, Cyber, but the. It's, it's a split decision, so. Better luck next time. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I would have used the nickel, but I did want to use. I wanted to save it for you know a room like this, so just in case. Better fuck next slime. You better. You really better. Uh oh, that's a very large-headed man. Okay, so spawns an entire ring of ring flies, I guess. A lot of health as usual, but... Oh, okay, that is a lot of flies. <laughs> My god. It's definitely a, definitely a bigger threat dead when it is alive. Uh, Alright. Yeah, a spider box. Alright, right, gotta actually be a little careful here. Some pretty annoying enemies in this room. Okay. Hmm. I got a coin lying around, sure. Okay. I guess worth. Not that I have anything to use all this money for. But the tainted hoppers. I heard you can kill them with one bomb because of how armor works now. I didn't think regular enemies had armor. Do some have do some have armor? Maybe it works with other chained enemies, but I haven't tested even the one. Yeah, I didn't think there were any regular enemies that had armor. I thought it was just like a handful of bosses. Tainted enemies do? Interesting. Okay. I guess that also must have been... I checked the wiki before they uh, had figured that out. Okay. Um, uh, I don't think that does anything. Okay. So we'll go ahead and get our tainted keeper. <clears throat> Free trinket since you gulped. Look at that profit. Wow. Pill bottle. No, 
really, not really a pill I was looking for. I'm gonna send in Discord, so take it with a grain of salt. I got you. Okay. All right. Oh, I can get continuum with this thing. That's nice. All right. Let's see how we do. Not even going into this with a uh, nickel charge, so that's unfortunate. Um, you know, I don't know what Hematomesis does with coin hearts, but I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna play it safe and not take it in with me. Oh, it, it actually does drop coins. Okay. Um. Does it still put me in one? That's interesting. Um. Okay. I, d I just I don't think it's gonna help me against the beast because I think gravity applies in the beast fight. So I think if if I use it at all, it's gonna have to be in this fight. Um, let's do it. Oh, okay. It actually gave me one. Is actually net uh, minus one health. Sick. Alright, so that was a uh, very not useful, very not useful pill. <laughs> Fucked up day. Alright, well, let's see how we do. Okay. Yeah, not quite. God, he takes so long to start flying. No, yeah. I, I, I never expect how long it takes for him to actually start moving. Uh, you can use it at one. You can pick up coins in the beast fight. They just descend slowly. Oh, interesting. Okay. I mean, that's fine. Really, the main thing I wanted was the, uh, the tainted character unlock. So whatever. Co yeah, cold plays. Uh, why did it only drop one, though? That's kind of stupid. Uh, don't forget request. Yeah, I won't. No D4, no win. Look, I, I left it up to the viewers to decide, so you can you get mad at everyone who voted no. <laughs> if you feel the need. Alright, although I did want to check out... I mean, I know you guys told me Tainted Keeper, but I, I, I like to check out the Tainted characters a little bit. Oh, I'm not tapped in. Okay. Or I am. Hello? How does this happen? <laughs> huh? <laughs> I did die. Okay. Tainted keeper who can't move. Uh, yeah, he actually uh he actually is exactly like a like a shopkeeper and that he can't move. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what is up with the controller detection in this game. Yeah, you could also blame it on the 50-50 that said no D4. I gave I gave every opportunity for the the D the D four enthusiast to, to come out on top there, but just didn't happen. <laughs> Thank you, Necro. I, I mean, at the end of the day, no D four usage would have helped my health situation, which really was the problem. <laughs> so uh, I, I just I don't know if it really mattered that much in the end, anyway. Um, I don't I don't know if yeah I mean I wouldn't have gotten less health, but I. I certainly wouldn't have gotten more either. Okay. Starts with a bomb. Doesn't start with his uh, his shop key either. Okay. Yep. Drop two coins and then ping. Okay. It doesn't have the nickel either. Yeah, this guy's gonna be really bad, man. This is gonna be rough. This is actually like OG Keeper, but infinitely worse. <laughs> That's brutal. Average D4 fan versus average wooden nickel, wooden nickel enjoyer. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. It would have given you max fire rate triple X. Triple Tech X Brimstone. Oh, really? Is that what I would have gotten? Well, if you had told me that, I certainly would have taken it. Still starts with minus two speed. Oh. So he buy. He has to buy everything. Oh, this is horrible. Are you kidding me? Oh, this guy is so bad. Pick up. Look, I'm not actually doing a run. All right, I'm not. I'm. 
I was just trying out. I like to try out the new characters for like a floor just to get a feel for them. And this guy is complete dog shit. All right, this this is not a character I'm gonna be looking forward to. Uh, yeah, the amount of money you couldn't make with this guy in theory. I I mean that's true, but uh, that's fine. Yeah, let's let's check out a shop at least. Guess I'll do this for fun. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe not. All right, his shops are abnormally stacked. Um, I'm pretty sure these are items you wouldn't normally... Some of these are items you wouldn't normally find in a shop. You gotta be aggressive. Yeah, but, I mean, the thing I didn't realize is that his shops have insanely good items in them. So, that, I mean, that does change some things a little bit. Um, I'm just gonna donate, because obviously I'm not actually doing this run. But, uh, I just want to check the... I'll do that. Oh, right then. I thought that was the one that gave us soul heart. Okay. Oh. Bosses drop a lot of money. Yeah, you have to buy the boss items? Man, that's so that's so rough. Okay. So you have to buy treasure items. You have to buy boss items. I mean, you still have to buy the shop items, but the shop items appear to be way better. I mean, there's no way you'd normally find, like, a coat hanger in, in, uh, in the shops, I don't think. Actual bullying. I had to. We've, we've been over this cyber. All right. Plum has to die. Oh, sick trinket. Alright. 